load this right and this is the last basic lesson of the subversion track ng Pangarnion developer which is yung locking sabi nga natin uh, most uh, most version control systems use the merge approach pero meron pa rin mga version control na nagsusupport ng locking approach Uh, again, yung locking, it's to deal with binary files kasi hindi mo nga pwede emerge yung mga binary files kasi th that's pretty much impossible kasi you have, don't have lines, you don't have characters inside uh, inside binary, binary files. So, yun, yung approach dun is ilalock mo yung file. Kung sa'yo yun, then kung ay ayaw mong paggamit sa iba, yun, ilalock mo. Then kung tatryin lang gamitin, sasabihin magkakaroon ng error. So, in this case, we're just going to discuss yung paano yung locking sa subversion. Uh, there's this portion dun sa Red Bean Book. However, mostly di tayo sa Tortoise SVN kasi, well, mas madali kasi sa Tortoise SVN. So, for example, we already have this uh, logo.png. This is already inside our... Uh, in uh, inside our sabihin natin repository so if you want to see yung modification sometimes kaya ng subversion na kaya ng tortoise sv and compare yung mga files for instance images are pretty easy to compare but for other binary files gaya ng say word documents and so on mahirap so in this case okay lang yung image kasi it's easy to compare but anyway yun lang Ibig sabihin nun, uh, pinapakita ko lang rito, it's, it's possible to commit uh, binary files. And automatically na sasabihin ng uh, uh, tortoise na ito is not a text file but a uh, binary file. So, my type niya is octet stream. So, paano yung locking? Locking is simply just, sige, di tayo kay Bob. I-lock natin yung file. Sabihin natin, yan. Just use the get lock function. And i get lock niya. Parang commit message, you just have, you're going to provide a message para masabi kung ano yung ginagawa mo sa file. So, para malaman ng mga tao na bakit nakalock yung file. Making minor changes. Expect release at... Sabihin natin, 2pm. So, yan. Nakalock na yung file sa kanya. So, in this case, pwede niyang i-edit yung uh, yung file na to. Yan. Ito yung extra na logo. Hindi na nabakita yan. So, ito yun. Pwede niyang paglaruan and whatever. So, yun. Then, pag natapos na siya, pag kinumit na niya yung file, And commit changes done which is pangit na message automatically niya i-re-release yung lock so yun yun so paano ngayon yung parang conflict so let's lock it again this time yun nakalock sa kanya pagdating kay Alice so try ni Alice na Well, hindi niya sinundan yung uh, uh, approach when it comes to locking. So, ang ginawa lang niya, nag-update lang siya. Okay, na-update siya. Then, in-edit niya with GIMP. So, yun. Palitan uh, sa GIMP. Let's just show the things you can do in GIMP. Palitan natin. Lagyan natin ng pink stripe. So, yun. Nag-change siya. Then, we commit it. Add pink. Pag tinry niya i-commit, ang mayayari ito, it's locked. So, hindi siya papayagan mag-commit. So, paano niya malalaman kung sino nag-commit? Well, locked in working copy. So, you can just check using yung... Well, you could click this and using yung uh, show uh, check for modifications or you could just do it for the entire... Uh, entire repo so para makita mo yung lock you have to go for check repository 
So dito may kita sa check repository yung lock, kung kanino yung lock, then kung ano yung comment ng lock. So yan. So kakausapin na ni Alice ngayon yung list or wala siyang gagawin. Kung wala siyang gagawin, typically ang mangyayari dyan is, well, wala siyang magagawa. She has to revert her work. Kasi wala tayong magagawa. Locked eh. Most likely, pagbalik sa atin yan, hindi natin siya, hindi siya madaling ma-edit. Hindi niya madaling ma-merge basta-basta. So, yun. Uh, so, yun lang naman yung sa locking. Kung ano, alam niya na nakalock, kausapin niya si, si Bob, para i-release yung lock, well, Bob can release the lock anytime. Gagamitin lang niya yung release lock. Okay na yun. Pwede na nang paglaroan ni Alice ulit. On Alice's end, it's better if she's dealing with binary files. Instead na update lang yung gagawin niya, mas mabuti itry niya i-get lock. Ren, para makita niya kung nakalock. Kasi hindi naman... It might be a waste of time kung pupunta ka sa Tortoise SV and check for modifications palagi. Bawat check ka na repository. And that, eh, hindi, siya, hindi siya ideal eh. Hindi siya ideal na workflow. Mas mabuti, derecho. Kung meron kang gusto ng edit na file, just go directly, get lock, and uh, yun. Kung pwede mo makuha yung lock, well, good for you. Kung hindi mo kaya kunin yung lock, at least alam mo sin naka-lock yun. So again, uh, reiterate lang natin, locking may be yung best approach mo, but again, in modern version control systems, it's not advised to use locking. Kasi there are cases na, kunwari, documents, you might want to use, again, some other tool that for revision control there. For instance, you might use a tool like Google Docs na automatic niya niyang tina-track down yung changes sa built-in na yung revision control sa kanya. And, pero, wala eh. Sometimes, you, you can't really do anything about it. However, ang um, uh, another thing you might be, what might want to do about it is, ang gagawin nyo is yung pag magkikreate kayo ng file, kumari, images. Kawa kayo ng isang image, gagawin nyo siya in multiple layers. Gagawa ka ng layers. It's more of, ano, so, hiwa-hiwala yung layers and you're not going to save it directly as PNG. Yung save nyo siya as logo. At kung ano man yung default na ano, na, na format nung editor nyo. For instance, ito, XCF, that's for game, sa Photoshop, that P, that's PSD, then, kahit naglalock, lock, lock, unlock kayo, at least hiwalay-hiwalay yung layers in such that kung may binago yung tao, hopefully yung na-change lang is in certain layers. Then, uh, pag binuksan na ng iba, sa ibang layer na. So, hindi nagkakaroon ng... Yung merge conflict, kumbaga, in this case, isn't that problematic. Kasi, wala, wala tayong automatic merging rito eh. Mano-manong merging talaga rito when it comes to binary files eh when you're dealing with the locking and unlocking. Anyway, that's it for the basic track. Yan na yung locking, kumbaga. Uh, for the next lessons, may mga other lessons for you sa version. For instance, yung mga properties, yung tulad ng ignore and all that. Pero, for the most part, ito na yung lesson for subversion. Uh, you could actually skip yung mga ibang lessons, diretso na kayo sa git, para makita nyo na yung distributed version control systems. But, yeah, uh, I guess this is it for the track. Uh, thank you for following it. <laughs> and yeah, continue lang kayo dun sa mga ibang possible na lessons na pwede niyong pag-aralan, whether in this track or dun sa Git.